morning. Good morning guys and welcome to the first vlog of my baby moon. And I'm currently waiting for Kurt. Curtis! So we're in Byron, we're staying at Elements of Byron. We're just on like a mini six day baby moon because I'm halfway pregnant. You guys, I need to show you my baby bump proper today. It's massive. So I don't know if you can hear right now, but it's supposed to be a pretty windy day. So we're just gonna try to make the most of the weather. Although it's sunny right now, I think it's gonna get like super, super windy. We're actually gonna go on train right now, but like that's what makes us happy. That's like the kind of who we are. I just thought about this and I think it's really weird. I've never done an F45 session. I've done a lot of sessions like F45, but I've never been to like an F45 class or studio. Yeah, we were just like sussing out on Instagram where to train in Byron, like some cool places. Because last time we were here, I just went to like the resort gym and it was fine. But I'm like, let's do something fun this time. Yeah. But we're gonna go get a little coffee first. A week one for me, because I'm pregnant. My rash, I know you guys are so overhearing about it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, it's still bad. It's like gotten worse again and like it's probably because I've gone back to coffee, but I pick my battles and I'd rather have a rash and drink coffee. This is giving me a bicep pump. This camera is so right. heavy. Good, that's what we want, Sezzy. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye from Cap me. shoulders, mate. Goodbye from me and my rash. Oh, so bad. I always get nervous before I order my coffee. It's so weird. And like everyone's like, what? Like no one knows what I'm talking about. Can I please just get a small, weak, long black with a dash of almond milk? Do you have almond? Have macadamia instead. Macadamia, please. Okay, I want to show you this hanging chair that I want to get for our lounge room. Last night we were looking up inspo for the nursery. And we are going to get a rocking chair, but then Kurt was like, why don't we get a hanging chair? So when I'm feeding the baby, I want to be in something that's like swaying and rocking. And my mom said that really worked for us as babies. I think it will look really cool. I'm like, we're a cool family, so. I think it'll be cute. But Kurt, you want the big one? I think it might be too big. Is that how you hold it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a big baby. This is perfect. Like, what if my boobs aren't big enough to like lean back? I have to like lean them forward. Sorry. I've never fed a baby from the nipple before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we can get some cool cushions. Alright, let's do it. Cool. Just signing my death form. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just glad it's like cardio stuff and not weights. I just don't like weights. Sign the form. Sarah. Sign and your life away. Talks with Sezzy, how was that? They were so nice. And I have a massive head now because they're like, oh my gosh, you don't even look pregnant. You are so good. I'm like, stop. <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, I'm hungry. And I just got to play with the cutest baby ever. I'm so clocky. <laughs> Kurt's in the shower. I just showered because I'm super quick like that. And I need to work out what I want to wear because I'm notorious after I train for like staying in my workout clothes and then getting sweaty and disgusting. Do I want to wear a pretty dress or high-waisted linen pants that I showed you guys in my haul? Decisions, decisions. <laughs> But unfortunately, I forgot to take my pants up, so um, they're a little bit too long for me. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Look at it. So much rounder. Like, I swear, every week it just gets that bigger, much bigger. bigger. Hey, yeah, it's crazy. Let's go breakfast. Yes. I'm not happy. I just realized I forgot to put sun cream on. How am I going to be a milk flap with oh, wrinkles? Right. No. Hey, you want my hat? No, no, no. I got braids. I have braids. I have braids. I have braids. I have braids. There you go. Hell yeah. I'm sweating. The baby was moving so much last night and all day yesterday. I got to feel it a lot last night, which is pretty cool. He's a mover and yeah. a mover. Also, I'm not wearing a bra and I feel like I'm going to flush my nipples today accidentally. Yeah, um, baby brain is 
definitely a thing. Oh, we, were walking back, we were walking back to the pool and I was like, where's my phone? Like, where is all my stuff? I left my whole bag at the pool. This is not the first time this type of thing has happened. I, I honestly, <laughs> I would love to sit here and be like, baby brain is not a thing. Like, oh. I'm as smart as I was before and I'm with it. I am not, and I'm not <laughs> making this up. I have lost my phone so many times. Kurt literally picks up my phone, picks up my wallet, picks up my laptop, picks up my camera. I didn't get your bag today though, so I'm sorry about that one. I literally forget everything. I have no <laughs> idea where, where we park. I, I don't, when we even exit a shop, I'm like, did we come left or did we come from right? And we are like have gone in there two seconds earlier. She literally has no idea. It's so weird. <laughs> I've read different studies. Some people say, yes, baby brain is definitely a thing because your brain shrinks a little bit building a baby. But then this other like feministic podcast was like, no, it's a social construct to make you feel stupid. I already feel stupid and it's because of my own fault. <laughs> Look at my rash! Beautiful. Guys, now, now you can see my rash better. I even have makeup on and you can still see my rash. No one cares about your rash. Bye! So many places still undiscovered that you're stuck in a Are you okay? No. The baby is kicking so hard that I cried because it scared me. <laughs> yeah, so I felt it just before. Oh, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a thumb about it like pushing through the middle of your hand, bulging out the other side. Boosh! It was, That's what it, it was felt like. Like, like two jab. in a row. And I started crying because it really scared yeah. me. <laughs> I'm only 20 weeks pregnant and on Google it says like, you may be able to fill your baby. She's feeling it. Oh, she's man. feeling it. This kid, karate kicking, Japanese jiu jitsu, in there <laughs> right now. I can feel it. Also, just make a note that Sarah's actually wearing one of the robes from the hotel right now. Why is that bad? I feel like no one actually wears those. <laughs> no one actually lasers around the house in them. I do. I think we need to sort of start preparing for bed. Okay. Are you good? Yes. We'll talk to the sissies tomorrow. Love you. Peace out. Today, yes, no, no, don't you zoom. <laughs> you need a hat. You I need a hat. Have a hat. <gasps> yes, I Get do. A hat. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Oh, do you even, Byron? <laughs> Look. What the heck are you doing? Showing you my belly. <laughs> don't ever do this in public, please. Why? <laughs> it's time to call the buggy man or woman. Do you even remember how to do it? No. Hey Siri, call no, buggy. I don't think it is guest service. Oh, there's a phone. Oh. Hi, I'd like to call a buggy. I'm just gonna grab someone. Thank you. Are you ready for brekkie? Yeah. Your favorite part of the day? Yes. We're just waiting to order our breakfast, but the weirdest thing just happened. So I get like hundreds of DMs a day of girls saying like, is your baby name this? Is this your baby name? Like randomly, they just pluck it out of nowhere. And the name we have so far is very unique. And someone DMs me and they're like, this is your baby name, isn't it? I'm like, how Howdy. did you get that? And she's right. And I was like, I kind of want to DM her back and be like, shut up. Yes, it is. Weird. So weird. Anyway, so I'm starving. Get buffet or order. I don't Both. Know. For breakfast, I just got two hard poached eggs because pregnant life, some cooked smoked salmon, avocado, greens, and lemon. And then afterwards, I'll probably go and get some coconut yogurt and granola. You shredding me? Hashtag mate? clean eating. <laughs> no, I just felt like it. Watch me go into the wild as I go and shake the wallaby's hand. Oh, I'm helping. <laughs> There's a wallaby. I was there. seeing if you would be a gentleman. Wait, shut the door. Now leave the door. <laughs> It's okay, we'll come back to the door. Sudden movements. The tree, the bush, the pole. <laughs> I think he's moving. I swear it's just like expanded today. Tell me that's not just me, that is just like, that's all baby. But I literally couldn't sleep all night because I just felt it growing here and still had some abs this morning when I was working out, but um, I feel like they're gonna go very soon, but yeah, super, super exciting. Yep, my rash is still there, that's just great. I'm busy <laughs> washing my body unlike somebody 
Yeah, you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and you're all sweaty and gross. I'm not sweaty. I just have sun cream on and it's fine. Okay, sisters, I interrupt this program for a quick editing side note. I made the executive decision to split the Byron vlogs into two parts. This one... As you can see, it was like super random. It was like our first three days and it wasn't great weather. So we didn't really get up too much. We mostly just ate, chilled out, trained and felt the baby kick my uterus. But the rest of the footage is like super adventurous, fun and exciting. So I want to make it its own vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this super random Byron vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I know you guys don't care and Kurt keeps telling me to shut up about my rash. But seriously, I think it flared up because I didn't have my normal morning routine. So as you guys know, I'm like so hardcore into my probiotics and my morning routine and like everything I take for my body. My skin just went crazy and I'm still dealing with that now. So I'm just trying to get back on top of it. So you'll even see in the next vlog, my skin is just not okay. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm shutting the super random vlog down now. I know it kind of is disjointed and doesn't go together, but I thought this vlog was better than no vlog. So if you want to see part two of the Byron Adventures, make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every three days. I'll see you guys in my next video, which I'm very excited about. Bye!